Welcome along guys. Well, the time has come for our follow-up on our Superbike shootout comparison videos, our head-to-heads. Today, we've got our winner from last time, which is the 2020 RSV4 1100 factory, rather sexy, but there's a new boy in town. And that new boy comes in the shape of the new Fireblade. All new for 2020. When we say all new, it really is all new this time. What a couple of bikes. We are back in the shed. We're not outside. We're, at, we're still in the Japanese garden, but we're in the shed, <laughs> the bike shed. So we've got these two beauties. First of all, before we get into it, must say a massive thanks to Wheels Motorcycles oh, yeah. for lending this to us, because as we said before, we wouldn't be able to do these reviews if it wasn't for Wheels. So massive thanks to Wheels Motorcycles. Wow, the new Fireblade RRRSP. This thing is so peaky. It's so peaky, it is. It is almost too straight like this really? it's got, yeah it's it's the way the power comes in about well about eight grand i suppose it really hits it's insane really for, for a road bike but below that it is it is quite flat that's full throttle second gear and you're disappearing eight grand when does that kick in then well it starts kicking about eight Oh, that late? God, that's really late, isn't it? I mean, ideally, this needs some sort of variable valve timing. It's just a you know, standard straight for this, built... Well, Honda say themselves, you know, this thing is built for the track. Even on their website, it says, yeah. you know, to, made to be the ultimate track weapon. And, uh, you know, I think it's, it's a brave move of them. They really they just made this bike to compete in World Superbike and... Other championships, haven't they? And that's that's what it's really what it's for. But to be fair, they're doing well on the track, really, aren't they? In BSB, it's doing what they built it for. That's exactly. the thing. First of all, on the score sheet, we've got performance for the two bikes. Now, you go on this one to start with. Okay. And performance is not handling or it's everything. It's everything. It's, it's everything encompassed into into. Okay. Everything. So which one first? Start with the blade. The blade. As it's so a new I boy. I think um, without boring everyone to death and going on for too long. <laughs> The blade handling is incredible. Yeah, the front end yeah, on it yeah, yeah. is lush. Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk about tyre specs and everything a little bit later, I guess. But yeah. it, the handling's really, really good. The riding position is very different to the Aprilia. The handlebars, I think, are quite wide. Yeah. Um, energy characteristics, so smooth. It's incredible, isn't it? It feels almost electric. It's it does. so smooth, so refined. Performance, it's like a ballistic missile from 8,000 RPM. Yeah, below that, it's definitely soft. It's not annoying. It's actually quite a relaxing experience. So I'm going to go for performance overall, eight and a half. Eight and a half. Okay, okay. I'll throw in halves in straight away. Yeah, <laughs> we'll start with that. I'll write it down. Start with that. Right. Oh, the Aprilia is amazing. <laughs> While Greg shoots off, I'm just going to give this a little bit of a gunning in first and second. Power, 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 power! Woohoo! It howls, it absolutely howls! Out and out power figures, I think the Prilly has it by a couple of brake horsepower, so it's close. But I think performance, I think it handles so well. Yeah. It, it, you know, the front, as you say, the front end's amazing. amazing. I think it handles slightly better than the Aprilia, yeah. if, if that's possible, yeah. you know. Certainly on the road, it feels like it yeah. anyway. Maybe that's the power delivery, but we'll, we'll get into that. But it is very flat at the bottom. It is very, very flat at the bottom. Yeah. And I guess you can't give it top marks for no. performance because we're judging these as road bikes. You know, we've tested yeah. them on the road. We haven't tested them on the track. So 
Performance, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a nine. Oh, yeah. So I'll be one more, I'm gonna give it a nine. I think the only area it lets itself down is roll on power, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe roll on overtakes, coming out of some bends if you're not all set up in the right yeah. gear on the blade. There's a real pause and the Aprilia was it's down gone. the road, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. Let's have a little look. Yes. <laughs> roll the clip, roll the VT. Yeah. All right, favourite little hill climb. Oh, it is this is lovely in the corners, so stable. Oh, the noise of the Aprilia though, it's ridiculously cool. I have to say though, Greg, this the fireblade is lovely in the bends. Absolutely so stable. I think with the RSV4 it does feel a little bit more twitchy, doesn't it? And I think we said about it last time, you have to finesse it a bit to get the best yeah. out of it. But I think this is much more out the box. You can jump on it. It's easier to ride. A bit like, I think it's probably, that's probably a, a big characteristic of a straight four, maybe to some degree, the way the power's delivered. The power's smoother, it's not as twitchy. I know what you mean, I, I would agree. And I think because it's a bit softer at the bottom, John, I think that's why it also feels a little bit more steady and stable because it's just not actually delivering as much power is it i was really expecting this to because it is so flat that it really not enjoy it but it's not like that it is flat i mean that's full throttle is winding up it is flat but there are some benefits to that as well <laughs> but whether that's what you want when you go and buy a litre bike RSV4, well we've already scored it. I think the performance is absolutely phenomenal. I think it's comfortable for me personally. Don't know why, six foot one and a half. Engine characteristics, amazing. Feels a little bit flat right at the top. Flat, probably not the best word. It runs out of puff right at the yeah, top. Yeah, yeah, Everywhere else, I couldn't think of a better road bike characteristics. I think road performance, I'm going nine and a half. Nine and a half. I thought you were gonna go 10 actually, so no, I'm surprised there. 10's a bit too good, but nine, nine and, and a half. half. Back on the old, uh, old faithful. This was the winner of our test last time, of course. This is why it's back. Back for more. Oh yeah, the seating position of this feels really quite different straight away. Yeah, the seat feels like it's throwing me forward a little bit more. All good. This is much more comfortable from a, a peg height position, isn't it? Oh yeah, the pegs are high, aren't they? God, yeah, it's quite different, the riding position, isn't it? Very different. That's very low feeling, isn't it? It feels very low. The, the tank's very low on that. And it feels like you're sat further forward on this and you're, you're looking at the dash almost over the top of the windscreen. Yeah, this is a bit more, a little bit more vibey, tiny bit maybe. But instant go, absolutely instant go. The uh, Fireblade gearbox is absolutely delightful. Lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's, it's as good as they get, I think. It's, I hate to say it, butter smooth, isn't it? <laughs> to coin a phrase. <laughs> Yeah, I think comfort for the street, I think this has got it on comfort. Oh, on the Fireblade, you're right, you open the throttle and it's, it's a bit, late, bit, bit lazy, isn't it? There's nothing, is there? Oh, oh, Jesus. I'm taking a bit of getting used to it. Yeah, the front brake on this is not as good as that. It's not as much initial power. Oh, this is like, the throttle's right there and it's the tiniest of throttle inputs and it just, it goes, doesn't it? Yeah, the Aprilio is incredible, isn't it? Trouble is though, that does make you ride like a bit of a hooligan. But it does me anyway. Keep this a six grand and it's like a bucking bronco. So next on the list we have quality. I'll go first on this one. Okay. Starting with the blade. Yep. It's a phenomenal quality, isn't it? It is. I think it's so, it feels so well screwed together. Even, and it's not just the look and feel of it, it's actually when riding it, you get that totally. quality feel, totally. don't you? The gearbox is beautiful. Yeah. They've done such a good job of dampening the vibrations on it as well. It's not it's buzzy. Not, there's none, is there? It's none at all. No, if, you, if you've ridden a GSX R1000, you'll know what we mean yeah, in terms of that yeah, sort of yeah. buzz that you get. You get a little bit of on the S1000, yeah. not, nothing like the GSX-R. The Honda has none, does it? It has none. It's uh, it's amazing what they've done with that. And for for uh, a bike which they're saying is a, a track bike, <laughs> it's so well mannered and it's so well rounded, isn't it? it is, yeah. That uh, it's almost does it disservice to call it a track bike. 
quality score for the Honda, I'm going to give it a 10. This fireblade, it's got a really intriguing noise. I'm just doing like just over four. It sounds really nice, sounds really deep and very racy. It, it's, it's, uh, it's almost like electric, isn't it? It's got a very electric feel to the, to the power delivery and the sound of it, I think. Until you get back to eight grand and then it, then she's rampant. I think if you like the BMW S1000 double R, you're gonna like this Honda Fireblade. Yes, it's a much smoother engine than the double R, isn't it? It's so smooth, it, it feels mechanically perfect. It's like velvet, isn't it? And as you say, there's no, there's no vibes through the bars at all, which you do get on the GSX-R, don't you? But there's, it's, it's incredible, all the foot pegs, it's really nice. Yeah, they, they've done a very good job of sort of counterbalancing that engine, haven't they? And getting rid of the vibrations. Okay, next on the list, desirability. Yeah. I mean, not talking about me, not the bikes. No way. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. Zero. You first this time. You first this time, yeah. Oh, it's really tough. So I think they're both desirable. Actually, we did park up somewhere where you did a few steals and that, and it was by a lake, and it was a nice setting, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. And there were a lot of onlookers, people walking past, everyone was stopping, people with their kids. It was good. Um, I think they're both so desirable. This is the SP version, of course, which makes it even more desirable, yeah, doesn't yeah. it? So that's got to be worth a mention. Uh, I think the Honda desirability, oh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to go nine for, for, for both, actually, if I may. Yeah. Um, I'll cut to the You chance. may, you may. Yeah. Highly desirable, very, very. I'd love either of them as keepers. Yeah. I, I completely you? agree. One thing with the blade, it's keyless. <laughs> so you're going you're gonna to need the key. I don't really want to get off the Aprilia, <laughs> I've got to say. Although I'm sure the fire blade is going to be absolutely amazing. And look at it, I mean, it absolutely Hang on, I think it looks find, amazing. I've got to find the key. Can you, the see, key. Can, can you see it in the flaps? I've not... Uh... Yeah, I've got it there. The reason it's keyless, what they say, is because they wanted the air coming straight through the front into the air box without being obstructed by the ignition barrel. That's why the reason for it going on the side. But I guess they could have still used a key but it's got this little arrangement be, on the be side. It'd be difficult there. to get in there without scratching it, I guess, wouldn't it? Yeah, possibly. So that's the reason for it, so they say. I know we're going to do a walk around later, but you can't deny the paint job of that fire blade. In my opinion, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. It looks amazing. That belly pan with that big Honda, it looks amazing, doesn't it? Next one, engagement. Okay. Engagement. Now, I'll start with the blade. I think it's, it's quite engaging, but that flatness does take something away from the engagement. It, it softens the whole experience off a little bit. Yeah. It makes it great for just riding through town and keeping the speeds down and all. We mentioned it in, in, the, yeah. in the clip. But. It does make the whole thing a bit more sensible. And then it goes banzai, yeah, and like it, a bit two-stroke, Yeah, but it's nowhere near as flat as a two-stroke yeah. when it's flat. No. And but then it has got that banzai. And you've got, it's got that sound oh, as well. Because oh. it's got the acro on it, when that comes on song, it, it doesn't... Sound it, later. We're talking about sound later. Yeah, no, but it's all part of engagement though, it isn't is. it? It's all part of engagement. Yeah. When that comes on and it kicks yeah. in and the front Agreed. comes up, I think, I think it's much more engaging than the double R. From, I think it's more engaging than the double R, I think, because you've got the sound, you've got all yeah. the, the yeah, way the power the, the comes BMW, in. I know we're not comparing that here, but it's so quiet in stock form, isn't yeah. it? That you do lose a bit of that drama and yeah. therefore that engagement. Yeah. So it's very sterile, yeah. almost perfection again. So what are you giving the Honda for engagement? I'm going to give the Honda, I'm going to give it an eight. I'm going to give it an eight. And the Aprilia? For the Aprilia, it's got, it's, it's got to be nine and a half. Yeah. It's really, it's really engaging, it isn't is engaging, it? Yeah. That power delivery, it's just there instantly. You yeah. can't get bored riding that bike. You no. can't be on it and just think, no. oh, this is a bit boring. Exactly. It's right, just yeah. there all the time, yeah. isn't it? Now, I just want to check what the wheelie control's doing on this first. Or well, what it isn't doing, should I say. So I can see the wheelie control's on number one. Now this, right, okay, I'm going to go to another mode then. That gives me more wheelie control. Full power, wheelie level three. That's mode two. So I'm happy with that now. I'm in mode two, so I've got some wheelie control now, hopefully. Let's do a roll on, let's do a roll on while we do that. So this is on AWC1, ASC A3, ABS3. I don't know what any of them is. What about WC? WC is the wheelie control. What's the wheelie control on? One, is that good or bad? Well, it's, it's pretty stable that even on one, it doesn't do much. But let's do a roll on, third gear, third gear, four, four, 40 miles an hour, third gear. Three, two, one, go. See you later. There you go. There you go. Next one, we have comfort. Comfort. I mean, you they're, first, you first. they're not the most, you know, they're sports bikes, yep. then you don't buy them because they're comfortable. No. But comfort wise, because the blade has all of this track based 
riding position. You know, it's very, it's, it's, well, it's not to say it's very risky, but it's the more pe risky. Pegs are, high as well, pegs are really high. Yeah. It's more risky than this. It's more, the pegs are higher than the Aprilia. Yeah. So the Aprilia is definitely more comfortable. The Aprilia's got cruise control. I know I keep banging on about cruise control, but I think it's really nice, nice addition. That a fuel gauge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that will fit all the mirrors. <laughs> but I think, I think, it's you know it's got a few more road comforts. I think so. Like it's got the cruise control. Yeah. The seats comfier. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seats comfier. So comfort, relatively speaking, for a sports bike, I'm going to give it eight and a half on the uh, on the oh, on oh, the oh. RS34 oh, on the okay, RS34, nice. and I'm going to give seven to the blade right. because yeah, you because can't you can't class that as comfortable. No. Yeah. You could do a cruise control, couldn't it, the blade? Yeah, I think cruise would be nice, but again, let's be honest, if they're pitching it as a out and out race bike and nothing else it's not gonna have cruise is it no that, that is very true remember look at I me mean, this time in the rs34 you couldn't get any more of a, a track bike on the road and that's got cruise i'm just trying to work out how you use it the dash on the blade i like a lot it's got really like the you know the speedo is nice and clear the rev counter is excellent i like the gear position right in the middle it's really nice yeah and then the other bits of data that you kind of want are there and easy to to find but not too prominent it's a good dash, I would say. The annoying thing with the RS34, it has cruise control, but you can't use it below third gear, and I think below 40 miles an hour as well, which is a bit frustrating. It's not something you're going to do that often though, is it? No, but I quite like, especially with a double R, just going for a 30, popping the cruise on, and then you just yeah, stick yeah. at 30 with the cruise on, and you, you can't do it with it. Oh, no, that, sorry, I tell a lie. I think you have to be in third gear. So I'm in third gear now at 30, two miles an hour and it's all right is it it's working and, it, and it's and it's working so you have to be in third though is, is the restriction with it so you pop that on oh lovely bit of a stretch watch out there'll be a copper here you'll get nicked for going no handed <laughs> i've turned it off now back on the blade little swap back it's the best way to do it isn't it swap yeah keep swapping regularly not just bikes we're talking about girlfriends wives of course <laughs> everything houses <laughs> cars yeah. <laughs> right we're off again Where's my bottom end gone? I found it. It's on the Abrilia. <laughs> I think you've got mine as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it's definitely more of an uncomfortable position on the, on the fire blade, I would say. The front end is lower, isn't it? So you're stretching forward a little bit more. The bars are a bit lower. The foot pegs are higher. Definitely. It feels much more of a, a track bike setup, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, and the bars are wider. Would you agree? Yeah, the bars are definitely wider. It's not as it's not as much weight on your wrist as, as the Panigales, so it's got that. It's a bit. I'd say this is a similar weight on the wrist to what my H2 is. This is this is how the H2 is from a, from a wrist weight perspective, which doesn't help a lot of people because they probably haven't ridden an H2, have they? But medium, yeah, as in medium severity. So it's quite wristy, but not horrendous. On, on a scale of wristiness, you've got the uh, probably the S1000 double R, and that is probably at the best end of the scale. Then you've got this, I'd say, in the middle, and then you've got the Panigales at the bottom. Yeah, you do get used to it on the blade. To start when you first, when I first jumped on it, it just feels quite different to this. The seat angle is different as well, I think. So the whole the whole setup is m more racy and more extreme. Next on the list, we have sound. sound. Me Ooh. first, isn't it? You first, I believe. So, amazingly, the Honda Fireblade in stock form, although it's got an MCAN <laughs> fitted, Macrophobic, however you want to pronounce it, sounds incredible once you hit the power. Yeah. And actually, I didn't realise how loud it was until I watched you do some ride wise. <laughs> I could hear it when I was, we were riding together, but when it sounds ridiculous. Yeah. It? yeah. It's so nice well, sound, isn't it? It sounds brilliant. And for a straight four, it is, in my opinion, the best sounding new bike that yeah. I've heard. Yeah, it sounds good. It does. So I'm going to give the Honda Fireblade on sound. I'm going to go nine and a half because it sounds bloody amazing. What about the... Uh... I'm going ten. Ten. It's got to be, isn't it? I think it's, it's got to be. Because again, we talked about it today. Everyone talks about it. Yeah. It's not new news. The RSV4 no. sounds like. Yeah. I'm going to go 10 on the RSV4. I'll just chuck that in because yeah. it, it's nothing sounds better.
So the Honda's got the same setup with the pipe, with the pipe and the valve. Yeah. So, and when it does, I think it's about five and a half grand. It, it's just so quiet just when it's on idle, isn't it? You go through a town, it just no, moves it's along. Yeah, it's on, great. When you're yeah. in the house in the morning, Sunday morning, not going to annoy Absolutely. anybody, ride right away, get on the country roads, it sounds like As soon as ridiculous. you wind it up, it takes yeah. a little while, but when you finally get there, yeah, yeah, it yeah. opens up. Yeah. And I couldn't believe, I was just, like, first time I heard it, I was just, I couldn't believe the sound of it. It's just, it's phenomenal. It doesn't come across on the video, actually, how good it sounds. No. It is Have you, really can, good. Can we cut to a we can. clip? Why not? Because you'll hear it, it's amazing. Let's do a flyby. Let's do it. Equipment wise, for the Aprilia, I mean, it's got all of this equipment to make it go faster, isn't it? Like the ABS, the corner and ABS, all of that. You do, suspension uh, setups the same on suspension both. Suspension setups the same, same options. Same hardware. Same hardware. Yeah. Um, I do think the electronics on the Aprilia are showing their age a little bit. So I think perhaps they're better on the blade from uh, the whole electronics package point of view. It's still pretty good. And when we did the, uh, the launches, yeah. it was um, surprising, wasn't it? Yeah. Cut to the clip. <laughs> I think, I think to be honest, I think the RS34, the electronics has show their age a little bit. Yeah, I agree. This doesn't finesse the bike as much under the wheelie control, does it? Well, no, this was like, I had to, I had to ease off because it was wheeling too much. Yeah, it's, it's, I think the more modern bikes, I know that's a brand new bike, but the, the more recent bikes, the electronics are so much more refined. And I think that is one point where the blade scores higher, I think. Uh, a bit of extra wheelie control. Use this little thing there, yeah, and then you go down. There you go, anti wheelie there. What do you want? Uh, mass maximum. So I think if we. He just remembers it, yeah? yeah. Click off that. There you go. So traction control's on four, anti wheelie's on max now. Three, Three. two, one, go! I had my visor open and I couldn't, I was like, oh, I'm going to get a bit quick in the air in a minute. <laughs> your trouble is you're gone straight away by the time the park builds on this. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're six feet up the road. Uh, the wheelie control's much better now on three. It still wheelies a bit. Yeah, but, but I don't mind it wheeling, but if you're trying to go quick, it's impossible. It's one less thing to think about, isn't it? You've got to let that bike sort of sort that really, haven't you? You just sort of steer it really. <laughs> So, yeah, so I think maybe the criticism a moment ago, the electronics on this is a little harsh because we've just adjusted it and it's sorted it. And it's, don't get me wrong, it's not as refined as some of the newer bikes. The Fireblade was stopping and cutting it a bit more aggressively on this then than I thought it would have done. But that was first gear, I suppose. It's quite a lot of power putting down first gear, isn't it? It's not quite as refined as the electronics. No, it, it's, 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 it's good, but the blade just seems to have the edges rounded off a bit it's more. A bit more. No, it's, it's newer. It's more. It's, you know, it's, it's a more lately more because that is ten years old. Yeah. I know the electronics have been updated throughout yeah. that time, but they're still more yeah. elderly than the uh, than the blade. So, but it has got cruise control, so it scores points for cruise control. The Aprilia has cruise. The Aprilia has cruise control. I'm going to give the Aprilia. I can't remember what was called it last time. I've got no idea, but I'm going to give it an eight for equipment and I'm going to give the blade. The blade's got nothing really. Everything on the blade is to make it go faster. Electronics are better. The dash is lovely. I have to say the TFT is really nice on the blade. I agree. Better than the RSV4. Yeah. You can do a lot. You can, you can change all the modes. You can yeah. change everything. In every mode it's got, you can then go in and change the power of that mode, the suspension in that setting, so you can fully customise it. Yeah. But it hasn't got any cruise control. So uh, I'm awesome. going to mark it down for that. Go on, no, I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a eight and a half. So the ultimate test ends. What do you think to the fireblade? Do you want to swap back yet? <laughs> no, I'm all right at the moment. If you want. Ah, yeah, you like it then. You like it then. I think the RSV4. It feels a little bit more twitchy. A little bit more twitchy. And that could be to do with the power as well, because it's so rampant. You've got to finesse it around the corners. Whereas that's so smooth the power. I think it makes it easier just to sort of flow the bike in and out of the bends, maybe. Perhaps, I don't know. Could be talking shit. Uh, no, I don't think you're talking shit. I think, I think the Fireblade, in all honesty, it's a bit too flat, isn't it, to be honest, on the road. Uh, and it makes it very easy, and it means that you don't ride like a nutter where you shouldn't, and that's all good. But is that really the point of a litre bike on, a, on the road? I'm not so sure. I honestly think the little uh, ZX6R would, would out-drag it on on pickup it's, it's that flat it's that flat which is a bit odd but you know it's, it it doesn't make it 
as irritating or annoying as I thought it might. It's fine. It's just every time we dive out of a bend, you're gone on the Aprilia, and I'm one, I'm left waiting until the power builds. And as you say, the only way around it is to ride it in a lower gear so that you're right there on the power, which is a bit of a strange way to ride on the road. So next we have value. So quite an interesting one. The blade is 24 grand for this SP. I thought it was 23 and a half. Uh, yes, 23 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> so next we have value. Quite an interesting one. The blade is 23 and a half thousand for the SP version. Yeah. The basic version, just the double R, R is yep. 20 grand. Okay. The RSV4 list is 23,000, but you can always get deals on the uh, pulley, yeah? and, and Wheels Motorcycles are actually doing this for 18. Okay. So it's, it's and at the moment, presumably, there's no deals on the blade because it's just come out. Yeah, yeah, I had a look and find any discounts on yeah. the blade whatsoever. So value, you want to go first then? Yeah, so value, it's too expensive. <laughs> the blade for a Japanese sports bike is too expensive. It's yeah. encroaching onto Italian Exotica money, isn't it? You yeah. know, which the RSV4 is. It's more expensive than the RSV4. So value, it's fantastic. I love what they've done with it, the quality of it. You know, yeah. It's all there as a package, but I think, much I think the SP should be 20 and the standard should be 18 or something like that. Yeah, I, I, could, I could go with that, but 23 yeah. and a half is too much money for me. Yeah. Um, it's turning this whole biking game into a rich man's sport, isn't it? It is, and yeah. we're not rich. Which is right for you, but no good for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's YouTube. <laughs> Give it a score. Uh, uh, six and a half. Six and a half for value. So, yeah, that seems quite tight. But... No, well, it's fine. So that's your relationship with Honda all over. All dead all, dead all over again. So that, Twice. So I can't borrow that again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you want to go straight into the Aprilia? The Aprilia list, again. It's a bad it's, score it's, list, it's, but with It's discount. a bad score list, but what you can actually buy it for if you hunt around, and it's not just Wheels Motorcycles, there's other places doing them cheap, so it's not, not just. Although Wheels are wheel. by far and away no, the right, best either. The best you want to get there, away, Wheels, yeah, obviously. Yeah. But yeah, so value for 18, oh, that's, that's really good yeah. value, but uh, yeah. eight, it's still a ridiculous amount of money for a bike, but I'm going to go value. eight and a half. Eight, eight and a half. half. For me, Honda Fireblade, value, um, well, personally, I've. Uh, I couldn't spend that much personally on a bike. Uh, I'd rather have two bikes or even three at that value yeah. uh, for different occasions. Uh, I think I'm with you for a Japanese bike. It's really, really, really good. Uh, for If you wanted it as a trap bike, it'd be amazing, but then it'd be too expensive and you'd be worried That's about crashing it. I'm gonna go, uh, I'll go seven for value because I think it is still bloody seven. good. Seven. Yeah. Um, I think the Aprilia at, 80, at list price, I'd go seven and a half, but I think with the discounts that you can now get on Aprilia, I would go nine. Yeah. Because you, I think for Italian Exotica, which it is, um, it's, you, you, it's pretty good. You've got to it. take into account what you can actually buy them for, is it? It's all very yeah. well list price, but yeah. if there's deals to be had, then yeah. you, you've and got to And I think really... I, although I wouldn't want to spend that much on a bike, I really could, if I, could find a way, see myself maybe well, stretching and find. Said, well, yeah, exactly. Sold I, I could, you know, I how could I it. save up every bit of cash somehow and buy the Aprilia? I, you know, I don't want it to leave this cabin. I, I want it to stay. <laughs> the trouble I've I'm had not to, to try and get these bikes yeah, off him. I know, exactly. So I think it's reasonable value at 18 because yeah, it's lovely. And you compare it to Ducati's other Italian Exotica because it is Italian Exotica. Exactly. And I think, it, you know, in some ways it's got some uh, nicer features than the Ducati. Yeah. Not that we're here to compare that no. against Ducati. That's another one, maybe for next year, the Ducati. Yeah, next year. Right. Change the winner, whatever it may be. And that is where we come to the scoring. So over oh no! to Carol. Get over to Carol. <laughs> for the score. I hate this part. I can't it. do it. love it. And everyone's waiting patiently. <laughs> I'm going to use my uh, We my can calculator. do this in real time. Scores are in. Thank you, Carol. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite tight. So I'm not talking about Greg's bra. <laughs> or Carol. <laughs> or Carol. <laughs> <laughs> it's the biggest lead we've had so far. This biggest difference. Biggest difference, difference big, in scores. Difference. Biggest difference in scores. So two, okay. our runner-up, <laughs> gives it away a little bit, is the Fireblade. Okay. With a score of 154.5. Again, that's your scores plus my scores, all given to the Honda Fireblade. Add it together. Add it together. And it was what? 150? 154.5. Okay, yeah. The RSV4 is yeah. 166.5. Is it really? It really has run so to over, over 10 extra points. That's and last time when we points. did the double R test, Very it was close, just a couple it? of points in it, wasn't it? Yeah. But it's, it's romped away. So the big one though, the important one, never mind what the, what the scores say. If I could give you the keys yeah. to one of these bikes, 
Yes. For the next five years. Yes. I don't even bother asking you, so I don't know what you're going to say. I'll go for the Aprilia. Oh, what a surprise. I'll go for the Aprilia. No, because I think the, I think the Aprilia is quite possibly the perfect Sunday fun road bike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not the most practical overall as a package. I think the BMW S1000 would be better if you were going to do more things and ride more miles. But as a toy, yeah. it's close to perfection on the road. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a road test that we've done on them. Yeah. I do agree. So I do agree. that's what I would have. What would you have? If the keys were given to you, yeah. no charge, sir. Uh, yeah. And try not to get too seduced by the fact that you'd make more money out of the Honda no, because no, they're not, not discounting not, them. But, not but just hear the keys. Excluding what would you have? keeping it. I'm really surprised at this, but I think I'd have the Honda. Really? Yeah. You're wrong again on this review. <laughs> I know, I know. It's, uh, it's, 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 would you? I think so. Okay. Uh, it's a tough one. I was thinking about it yeah. on, on the way down, and then I thought, well, I love this. This is great. It's, it is amazing. You keep saying you love it, but you never pick it. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but I just, I just a bit of a Honda fanboy. I don't know. Yeah. I just like the way it's quite sedate. If I had this, yeah, I don't think I could draw myself on it. No, I think I'd just ride everywhere like a complete twat. Mm. <laughs> Whereas the blade, because it's softer, it doesn't give, it doesn't egg you on. No, it and is very, e- it's very civilized, and it is very easy to yeah, ride on the road, yeah, isn't yeah. it? it, it is. When I jumped on that, I was like, whoa! Yeah. And yeah. It's like Jekyll and Hyde, isn't it's it? It's sedate and then it's Banzai. Exactly. It's got isn't two it? different sides to it, isn't it? It's and when nice. it is Banzai, it's great. I, I do like the way that pack because yeah, we're yeah. both two-stroke boys of old, you know, and it's good fun because when it, you get it there, it's just great, <laughs> It's isn't definitely it? like the, the wheels. Yeah, it, it, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so I think just you because I'm a bit of a Honda fan, but I love the look okay. of it. Brilliant. I think I'd go to Blake. Yeah. So if you're watching wheels, don't pick them up because we're agreed... John's keeping the blade. I'm okay, keeping no, the RSV. Happy I'm days. Happy. happy days. We'll bring you lots of good content. Don't worry, leave them here. You, know, you, don't, you don't need it. It's anything the winter you need. Anyway. Anything no one's going to be riding. Just it, leave them here. Leave them we'll here. We'll make good use of exactly. them. Exactly. We'll look after them very carefully. <laughs> good. Thanks so much, you guys. Really appreciate it. We will be doing a couple more of these uh, comparisons. So let's know what you want us to do because we sort of catch up, caught up really what we wanted. Yeah. We've got some test ride plans on bikes and some trips on it, but as far yeah. as these comparisons go, let us know what you want to see and we'll try and make it happen. Very good. Well, thanks for watching and we will see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. First impressions. First impressions are, it's very nice. It feels absolutely beautifully made. It's a little bit uncomfortable. The pegs are a bit high. I think it is a bit, it's more risky than the Aprilia. But again, you soon get used to it, don't you? Um, it's nice. It's, it's so smooth. It sounds really nice. It's a decent bike. Whether it's the perfect road bike, I'm not so sure, but I think, again, depends what sort of riding you do. If you go out for Sunday blasts and you're on fast roads all the time, I think it'd be fine, because once it's in the boil, it's a rocket ship, isn't it? It's still decent.